Well, from Cheerios to Play-Doh, General Mills is responsible for some of the most iconic products that we see on our store shelves. But with its 150th anniversary buildup, the company realized some historic items were missing from the archives. Fox 9's Jonathan Cho with a rare look inside. So, Jonathan, why didn't they keep everything? Well, Jeff, the company's history goes all the way back to the 1860s, and archivists only really started keeping track about 35 years ago. Now they're asking the public to help fill this huge gap. We're in the General Mills archives right now. At General Mills, company employees often cast vision for the future by looking to their past. Definitely take in what's already been done, successes, failures. And archivist Jessica Fauché is responsible for organizing. A promotion that we did not know existed from Green Giant. Preserving. So we will ask that you wear white gloves to protect our assets. And saving almost everything. So Cheerios was not always Cheerios. It actually originally began as Cheerios in 1941. The food giant is celebrating its 150th anniversary, and Fauché says she wanted to showcase some of the most iconic products. So here he is, the original Pillsbury Doughboy used in the very first commercial back in 1965. I'm popping fresh, the Pillsbury Doughboy. Hi. But to her surprise, she realized the company was missing a lot of important pieces. She says they only started archiving since 1980. The research cannot happen without those items. This is a monopoly game. Which is why former employee Peggy Howard decided to donate some of her prized possessions. I really enjoy having these. A promotional poster from the 1930s and a rare Pillsbury Doughboy to help fill this void. And if they can be some used to the company and, and, and preserving all the history, I'm very happy to have done it. And she isn't the only one. Some loyal customers of the many brands under the General Mills umbrella gave their stuff for free, which once included Kenner. I got you now, Ben Kenobi. The maker of Star Wars action figures. Unfortunately, these are the only ones we have in the archives. And as you can see, they're not in the best condition. And it's hard keeping track of a global brand. General Mills is in over 130 countries, and I do not speak 130 languages. While General Mills does on occasion buy super rare items. So we have Betty Crocker here in green, and we also have evidence of her in a portrait very similar to this wearing blue. We do not have that in the archives. Fauché hopes the public will be generous, giving from their past to help build the future. General Mills primarily wants anything before 1980. If you're interested in knowing what's on their wish list, check out fox9.com. Guys, back to you.